what we're looking at today is making a table to store information using Microsoft Access. So the, when you start up Access, you'll see a screen like this. What we need to do is start a blank database. I'm going to click on it once to highlight it, then click on it again, and it will open up this message here. You need to set the, uh, the uh, directory you're using to your H drive. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to change the that database name. I'm going to change it to guess who. This is what we're actually going to be doing the database about, so it's a good idea to name it in that way. So I'll press create. Okay, so in this view, what I've actually got is for putting information in. I don't actually want to do that yet. What I want to do first is set up a table. I'm going to go to where it says view, click on the drop down and say design view. It's going to ask me to save the table. I'm going to give it the name guess who. Okay, so now what we've got down here is the names of the fields that we're going to use to store in the information. The first one, ID, that's a unique identifier. We're going to leave that alone. The next most sensible one to have is name. If you look at the data type, what we have is a way of, store, of selecting what it is we want to put in there. So I'm going to put the, the, the short text because there's not going to be a lot of information in the name. We're then going to have things like hair color. Hair color, again, I'm going to store in short text. Eye color, again, short text. Okay, so if I want something else, for example, glasses. Glasses is a yes, no answer. So with glasses, I can click on the drop down and go yes or no. And all you need to do is as many field names as you can think of as you go down the page. If you want to do something like a number, uh, what I would do then is on the drop down, I can select uh, number. And then down here, it gives me an opportunity to change that. So I can now click on long integer, click on the little arrow, and I can change that to single, double, byte, whatever it is I want to do, or decimal. Decimal means I can store point something as well. Uh, that ends the video showing you how to set up. Over to you to make the things you want to make.